space fantasy fanboys and fangirls have just received their latest damage control propaganda update from actor Richard Branson, where he claims to have gone to space and filmed the spinning ball earth for us. But really, he just did some parabolic maneuvers simulating freefall while in a fancy plane. Unfortunately for old Dick and his riders, rather than use a normal lens to film the Earth, like all honest amateurs do when sending up their high-altitude balloons, these space virgins, just like NASA, SpaceX, the Red Bull Dive, and all other so-called official sources, always suspiciously choose to use a fisheye lens causing the horizon to constantly and radically warp from convex to flat to concave. As the camera tilts relative to the horizon, the ends warp up or down respectively, but when held still and level, the horizon is flat. As the normal back camera shows, the horizon actually remains perfectly flat and rises to the eye level of the camera all the way up. If the Earth was actually a globe, no matter how large, the surface of the globe would curve downwards in all directions away from the observer, causing them to necessarily tilt their heads down more and more the further they ascended to be able to see the horizon. In reality, which is only consistent with rising over a flat plane, the horizon rises along with the observer and remains precisely at eye level for the entire ascent. This trick is apparent both in Branson's trip this week, as well as Baumgartner's Red Bull dive from several years ago. The fisheye lens cameras show a constantly warping horizon, which was already curving the picture at ground level, the very same amount of so-called earth curve that it showed at 128,000 feet, just before diving. The trick is given away, however, when they switch to the regular non-fisheye lens camera inside the craft, which shows a perfectly flat horizon, still perfectly at eye level, while hovering over 20 miles above a supposed globe. Do you see something wrong with this picture? If you do, then welcome to the truth of your hoaxed reality. If you don't, then enjoy watching these terrible slack-jawed actors with their mouths gaping wide open at how ridiculously gullible you sheeple are.